Hello everyone and welcome to episode 4 in the series Becoming Famous for My Sculptures. In this episode I will be turning this log into a sculpture I am titling Rich. More about that later. It is a black walnut log imported from Germany. The log with shipping was $75. The previous log I worked on had its spark removed already, but for this I had to do it myself. It is a simple job since the drying process of wood makes it shrink and separate nicely from the bark. I decided to have the thickest part of the log be the top of the sculpture. You will know why when I soon reveal the design. There are a lot of cracks at the ends of the log, so I went ahead and removed them with my trusty handsaw. The log cut more easily than my previous project, which made me suspect it perhaps had some spalting. And this log had a hole running through the center of it, just like the previous log. That can easily be fixed with a wooden pin and some epoxy mixed with fine sawdust. I like to dab some water at the end of the logs I'm working with, just to get an idea of how the colors of the wood is. I got very happy with what I saw in this one. It is a lot darker than the Stargazer sculpture. My first plan was to make a hawk slash griffin sculpture, but as for all my projects, plans changed rapidly during the designing phase. I got an idea to have a resting or sleeping bear on the top of a tree trunk when I was outside skiing, and here is the design I ended up with. I am going to start with blocking out the tree trunk. This is the tool I will be using. It is very handy to hollow out bowls and cups with. Here is a cup that I made using this tool. The cup is made from birch burl. A fun fact is that this wooden cup will be given as a confirmation gift to someone. These kind of projects was what I was making in the start of my wood carving journey. The design has a lot of potential for change without ruining the overall feel to it. That is why I can confidently start carving the tree trunk. This is a hundred times sped up footage. And well, now it became clear to me that part of the log had spalting in it. This is a fancy word for wood that is discolored by fungi. This process also makes the log softer. The longer the spalting process goes, the softer the wood becomes until it becomes completely unusable. But for this log it had not gone too far. This just adds to the coloration of the wood and gives it even more character. I got nervous when I was going to carve the bear, so I had to come up with a plan. And the grand plan I came up with was to make a block first on the top of the sculpture. I tell myself to always work in stages from A to B to C and so on. But I get caught up with one area and I usually take it too far compared to the rest. I'm going to get a little personal right now. You know, reaching out to people with what you do has a lot to do with networking. But because of the burnout I'm going through, it is rough to manage. Truth be told, my days now are spent doing two things. Either I'm working on my dream and my passion for artwork, or I am outside in nature, relaxing and giving myself time to breathe. Some of the best moments I have had in a decade has been outside this winter, and I think this summer will be a good one. I have also cut greatly down on my phone usage. I'm now at about 10 minutes a day of screen time. And the best word I can use to describe the changes it has had on me is that I feel a lot more content. So I hope you are able to cut down on the screen time yourself. After you are done watching this video and my other videos. Uh, multiple times preferably. So all of a sudden I realized I had messed up the orientation of the grooves in the tree trunk. I had to come up with a solution for this before continuing. After my world completely melted I shrugged it off and gathered some courage to continue. The solution was simple. Just change the orientation at the middle of the log. This might have even improved the end result, since it enhanced the whimsical look of the trunk. Some part of the projects I do are difficult and some more easy. I have good and bad days, and for me it helps to have challenging and easy things to work on, so I can tailor my day to my energy levels. My life, as for too many of us, has a lot to do with managing stress. And I'm not going to lie, these projects comes with quite a lot of stress. But the rewarding feeling of making some kind of progress in life makes up for it. I cannot work as much as I want to, but by practicing acceptance and gratefulness for what I'm actually able to do, my overall experience becomes 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 much more positive. <laughs> and this pushes my life in a direction that at this moment feels right. I am working about two hours every single day now, and the majority of it feels enjoyable. I think much of the positive changes has to do with moving around a lot more and spending more time outside. As a way to fund my art journey, I am selling handmade wooden pendants in my online shop. 
They are made from a strong type of wood called burl wood. Some are colored and some are natural colors, like this wolf made from walnut burl. So if this looked interesting to you, you can find the link to the shop in the description. Thank you so much. Back to the sculpture. I'm about to make some deep grooves in the trunk. This makes it look very old and also less stiff. I do want to make my sculptures dynamic, at least in the work I have done this year, because I'm focused on soothing and happy expressions or moods. Lately, when I have designed in my sketchbook, I have come up with some more fierce looking concepts, but my heart tells me to continue making these calm creations. Alright, let's try to find the bear within the square block of wood at the top of the sculpture. Sketching on the wood is probably the best way to figure out where to remove a material. I am so excited to apply the oil on this one, because as it looked to me, the brown color of the wood resembles the color of a brown bear in the wild. So I am struggling a bit here with the tool arsenal I have. With this in mind, I recently invested in a stronger grinder that can fit larger bits than the Dremel. I am looking forward to use it for my next project. And I am very glad I made the investment. The next project is going to be much bigger than the other ones so far this year. I am intimidated to start with it, but I have built up a solid confidence in my work, so I do believe I can pull off something truly remarkable. I decided to just carve out the left hip and foot of the bear as a start to make a solid anchor point. I remember back to when I was doing this that I did not have much control. And just as a small side note, I would have preferred the bear to be a bit larger, to make it look like it was more embraced by the tree. Uh, kind of like you saw in the, in the design. If you pay close attention, you can see that the wood structure where the bear is has really nice color. You can say I was lucky to choose to have the bear made at this side of the log, since the opposite one was a lot brighter in color. The opposite side is where most of the spalting is as well, and as I said earlier, spalting makes the wood softer, and this is not preferred on areas where you want the details to go, just like where the bear is. I want to talk a little bit more about my yearly project I call Becoming Famous for My Sculptures. I just want to say that the goal is not at all to become famous. My goal is to be able to make a living off of what I do. And as a way to diversify my chances for that, I was thinking that a good plan would be to try out YouTube, but at the same time hold my skills so that if YouTube doesn't go as planned, I have still improved my skills and I have something physical to sell or progress with. My goal for how my YouTube channel will perform this year is something I do not pay much attention to. Of course I hope it will do well, and when the videos do well, it gives me a lot of motivation. But uh, my main focus lies in creating sculptures. Okay, so let's try to make a goal for my YouTube channel this year. Uh, if I consistently got 100,000 views on each video after the first month of publishing, I would be satisfied. So, do you have any goals for this summer? This might sound silly, but my goal is to get used to sleeping in a tent, so that I can go for hikes that lasts for many days. It is my insomnia holding me back, and I tried a failed attempt this winter at sleeping in an igloo I made. I am improving however, and I think chances are high that I will be able to go through with my hiking plans. Perhaps I can make a video about it, and some, do some designing as I'm relaxing outside in the wild. I just fixed the hole in the bear's chest, and I discovered another small crack that needed to be fixed. The epoxy I use is mixed with fine sawdust from the same part as where the repair is located, to match the color. I used a tiny scroll saw blade to try to push the epoxy down in the crack and release air pockets. Every time I'm done with a sculpture, I think, man, I should have used more time for the designing phase. And since the next project is going to be such a big one, I am considering dedicating one video just to the designing. Let me know what you think about that idea in the comment section. My concern for doing that is that perhaps one video with the whole process will perform better. The carving is now completed, but the sanding is not. So let's do that and cut off the excess wood at the bottom. Alright, that was quick. I wish it was like that in reality. I did not count the hours I used for the sanding, but with the speed I'm working at, it took about a week, so maybe like 14 to 16 hours. I do want to quickly shout out my Patreon. I credit every Patreon after my new videos, and on my Patreon page I am sharing info about investments, future plans, and some business stuff over there. So if you want to check that out, I appreciate it a lot. When I removed the bottom part of my previous sculpture, it did not end up being leveled, 
so I am trying to do a better job with it this time around. I do not have a proper router jig to make it completely flat, so it is important to make the handsaw cut right the first time. So I deliberately made the sculpture lean a little bit to the left in order to make the surface where the bear lies flat. Ending with a little bit of movie magic and the sculpture is now ready to have the finish applied. Thank you to those who watched through everything so far and I hope you will enjoy how the sculpture ends up looking. Thank you for watching and a big thanks to my patrons and let me reveal what I plan for my next project. So this is just the beginning of the designing phase but I think I'm going for a minimalistic base with a, some kind of cool expression in the face. So I'm looking forward to it. And to end the video I'm going to show you the log I'm going to use for the next project. It's pretty big but check it out.